Hey there, everybody. How you guys doing today? All right. So, more a man eater. I'm really looking forward to this. I am really looking forward. To this. I really like this game. You know, I really, really like this game. I feel like, as I've always said, a lot of people probably uh, kind of gonna hate on it. But me, you know what? It's fun. I enjoy it. It's a fun game. Do, 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 do. Hey River, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing awesome. Hopefully you're ready to eat more humans. I know I am. Man, people are gonna think I'm like, I don't know, I have a grudge against humanity. No, I'm just really good at getting in like the body of a shark. Like a man-eating shark. Hey Kitty, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? Hold on, give me one seco. Uh, eight sec, okay, right, cool. All right, perfect. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so hopefully everybody's having a very awesome time today. Uh, ah, yes. Perfect main menu. All right. Start to. Well, hello there. I believe this game for 11 hours and 38 minutes. Wow. That impresses me. I didn't think it went on. I didn't think I've been playing for that long. I've been playing for a while, but. Damn, and there's still quite a bit to do. See, well, to be fair, it's it's probably going to go by relatively quickly. Like, I don't think the game is going to be finished today. But I do think the game is going to be finished relatively soon. Give it, like, another stream or two, I'd say. I'm thinking two streams. If I had to take a guess, I'm thinking this stream and one more, and then Man Eater will probably be, probably be over. But I've been very wrong before. Epic and legendary evolutions upgrades require mutagen. Prosperity Sands reminds us that sometimes the construction of second and third homes supersedes considerations like loss of species diversity. All right. So, as you can see, for those that weren't here at the end of last stream, we got our new tail upgrade. We're looking pretty good. I think we're looking pretty sexy, to be honest. And that's not something I thought I'd ever say about a shark. Now, I need to visit the Caviar Key Grotto, so we're moving on to the next area. I think everything is done here. 100%, 100%, there you go. Okay, this is why your shark looks cool. Once we get all the upgrades, I'm going to have a look and see what each, um, what each, uh, set kind of looks like. Because from what I've seen so far, the sets look great. The sets ab absolutely look great. Like, the shark customization in this game... Really solid, and yeah, I don't know, it's really cool, I like it. Now, I think I said I was going to go this way, and kind of do that, and then we can do caviar. Yeah, we only have a couple areas, you know, maybe I'll even finish it today, depending. I don't know, maybe, maybe it'll, because I, I kind of underestimated how many areas I had left. Now, I want to eat the mahi-mahi, there we go. Mahi-mahi consumed. Look how fast we move now, too. I'm such a beast. Where am I even going? I'm going the correct way, kind of. Okay, I, I just wanted to make sure my shark homing beacon was on correctly. Well, my human homing beacon. Really, I probably should consume some just so I get my special ability up, but eh. It's fine. I'll be eating lots of sea life, I'm sure. I let Mahi Mahi. Yeah, we'll even fight a Mako just just to warm myself up, just to get warmed up. We'll eat another predator. Look at that! Look at that, dude! And another Mako! Oh yeah, just taken out of the water. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. All right, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling pumped. 
I will also consume this albino seal. Because it's albino and has green mutagen. And that's that's kind of what I'm all about. I keep missing it, though. Because I am bad with locking on. Although I do apparently keep hitting it with my body. Which is kind of interesting. Uh, hold on, give me... Give me one sec. Alright, cool. Do, 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 do. So now we're going into Caviar Key. Now I don't know what's in here, but I'm assuming. For the force of geologic time, the land was uninhabited, without a single destination spot anywhere to be seen. But I'm assuming, uh, you know, dolphins, maybe. I'm hoping dolphins. I don't know why I want to see dolphins so bad. Mutagen 23 is certainly heating up the evolutionary arms race. I do have a thing this way, so let's go and grab it. Where's it? Right here. Right. The bull shark is known to be a voracious, if hardly discriminating, eater. Okay, so that's a way into here. Okay, that's good. But I don't want to go there yet. I wanna, I wanna have a look around the other area first here. Because as you can see, there's kind of more this way. I think, right? I'm going the correct way, yeah. Kinda. You wish there were more water-based games like this? Ah, uh, you know, me too. Um, you know, I'm kind of after playing this game. I'm kind of in the mood for more. So you'll probably be seeing some more water-based games, funnily enough, uh, on stream. Like, I already kind of want to get back into uh, uh, Subnautica. And I kind of want to stream uh, Stranded Deep at some point as well. Oh wait, hold up. I was gonna, I was gonna say hello to Frendo, but now I'm being assaulted. So give me one moment while I deal with the Marlin. Give me one moment, please. All right, moment done. Hey there, a normal person. Welcome to the stream, my friend. How you doing today? What is up, you absolute legends? Make sure to stay hydrated. Look, your mammal friend here. Hell yeah. See that? I like that. I dig. In the kill or be killed world of the sea, performance enhancing mutagens provide benefits that could mean the difference between life and death. Thanks, Jerry. I swear, ever since I found out that this was Jerry, it's like, damn. Can not done here anymore. Yes, everybody, please stay hydrated. My city is staying perfectly hydrated because it has been raining the past couple of days. Pretty uh, steady rain too, very steady. It's nice. I love the rain until my basement floods. In which case, you know, then it's not good. But that only happened once, and I don't even know why that happened. That was a pain in the ass. But it should it should be good now. If it didn't flood after yesterday, then somehow, I guess it fixed itself. I don't know how, but, you know, maybe it was a freak occurrence. I have no clue. Now look at all these seals. Yeah, it's like tons of food right there. You're thinking some Nautica and Soma? Soma would be really fun, actually. I really need to get around to Soma. Who knows, you may evolve into four different species if you drink enough water. Oh my god. Dude, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, so let's just put here. Evolve into the great sea ape. Okay, I think that's it for things in here. So... I, I need... I need to go over here somehow. I think I know how to get there. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, maybe. I'm so glad I can do backflips, dude. Like, I'm so glad I found that out. And that I can do front flips. I swear, I don't know how I didn't know to do that before. I could've swear I was doing that. Like, doing the same thing that... Because apparently to do that, you just need to like hold the, con like, the camera stick and like hold it in a direction. I thought I did that whenever I jump out of the water, but apparently, maybe I was like, 
doing that to get the no no i don't know maybe i don't, I don't know why it never happened before but somehow i just get i just gained the ability to do sick backflips and that's pretty awesome that's pretty awesome when we beat the game we definitely got to do lots of backflips in celebration oh, what's this ah even after uh. the creation of a killer clown task force clown related homicide still remains a problem in port clovis i've seen movies about you say a normal person how you doing today friendo you know what kind of things do you think we could evolve into if we drink enough water i believe the dehydrated could evolve into the hydrated man where am I going? I guess I need to go up here. No, I don't need to. I'd probably go up here for a story-related mission. If I had to take a guess. Okay, hold, on. hold on. There we go. This area is slightly confusing. I, I like I like the sewer sections, but they're surprisingly like weird to navigate for me anyway. I don't know why. For others, maybe not so much. Okay, wait, hold on. Oh, I was hitting around the wrong button. Oops. Okay, where is this thing? Ah, we're here now. See, I need to go in here, but I think I can get to there pretty easily, because I can probably still jump a thing and it'd be fine. Eh, yeah, but I can also probably do that through a grate. Eh, yeah, you know, let's go back in there and, and just deal with it, just in case. Just in case. Look how fast I go, dude. I'm zooming through the water. How, you know, how fast can sharks swim? I know they can swim pretty fast, but I, I'm not... I don't... I don't know how fast they can actually swim. Now I'm wondering, can they... <coughs> excuse me. Can they swim this fast? Now I'm just not sure. I feel like maybe. See, that's the creepy thing. They might actually be able to. Hmm. You know, I still see a lack of dolphins. I'm okay with that, though, I guess. What's this? Orcas do enjoy playing with toys, but not half as much as a day-old seal carcass. Do aquariums actually have orca toys? Well, I guess they wouldn't need more, because I don't think you're allowed to keep orcas anymore. Thankfully! Because that's no bueno. This stealthy predator appears to be seeking food perpetually, stalking its prey day and night. I wonder if there's an achievement for jumping through those hoops. I'm curious. I'm curious. I need to check it out. I need to see. Okay, you probably can do it. I need to I need to try. I need to at least try. It's just gonna be. Okay, you probably can do it. I'd say guaranteed you can do it. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I. Oh man, oh, I accidentally activated my special. Whoops, I made things slow mo by mistake. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, no, I can't do it. Uh, this is, uh, I, I probably don't even get anything from doing this either, by the way. I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't. I just want to do it to say I did it. That's legit the only reason. Ah, uh, I came so close that one time. Oh, man, what's happening? Ah. Uh, dude, I'm so sad. I'm, like, so, so sad. Ah, there we go. Okay, that's good. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I see I got nothing for that unless I got to do like each one of them, but It's all for just my own personal satisfaction and happiness 
Speaking of which, oh, there's a secret down there. Okay, cool. There's a mystery thing. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through selective feeding. Yeah, there's some really deep water in this pool, too. How big are orca pools? Woo, hell yeah. Thanks for the celebration. Thank th bad, 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 I can't talk. Thanks for celebrating with me, River. It's it's, an, it's probably not even like an accomplishment. I'm sure lots of people have done that. But I'm just happy I could do it, you know. It makes me feel pretty good. So what are these? Are these like... See, they look like birdhouses to me, but I don't imagine they'd be birdhouses like out on the water like this. Oh, they look some kind of solar thing, maybe? Or maybe they're just a light to tell boats not to come this way. I'm not too sure. Yeah, what am I doing? I'm like missing all this potential. Like, who knows? There could be something around here too that I missed. I don't think so, though. Oh! Our Clovis City Council never misses an opportunity for cross franchise. Here's the killing floor uh, reference. Here we go. Here we have it. Ah, oh, look at that. See, I recognize. The only reason I know this is because I, I recognize the guy in, in the mask as being. What is it, Mr. Foster or something? But, like. I'm not gonna lie, when I first saw that, I was like, oh, is it a TF2 reference? And I'm like, no, none of those other guys look like TF2 characters. Ah, it's Mr. Foster from Killing Floor. I don't like that. I knew they had to get a Killing Floor reference in somewhere. It had to happen. What the fuck is that? Wait, what is that? Was that nothing? Was, was that maybe a visual bug? I feel like maybe that was a visual bug. Is this part of caviar or something or other? It is. Boop. No, you're not all dead. I'm not even coming for you. I'm swimming away. But you know what? I'd probably say the same thing too if I saw a shark this big. Sometimes even sharks just need to dirty bulk. Hmm. Is there someone just kind of. See, there are two people just enjoying a nice bonfire out by themselves. I can respect that. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever wastes fall to the ocean floor. I wonder if I can open one of those with my tail. Hmm. All right, well, next cache I see, I'm gonna need to see if I can do it with my tail. Oh, I'm gonna need to go pretty high for that one. I mean, I can do it for sure. The challenge is going to be getting high enough to uh, not get blocked by the bridge, I think, but... There we go. Not bad. Not bad. See, it's going to be pretty easy cleanup, I think. Clean up like the last few areas, I mean. Shockingly, this was only Alex's second worst birthday. Wow, yeah, that uh, that's not exactly the kind of birthday you want, do you? Well, Alex definitely had a hard time. He had a rough day that day. Okay. 
Okay. Nah, nah, I guess you can't. Bullshit. Not with your like, projectile. Dietary proportions. Hmm. The sea wolf remains acutely aware of anything that might constitute food. I put them too closely together like that seems a bit interesting. Okay, well, success. Okay, so where is the next one? Right here. And then we can even hit that up. Visit the. Oh, yeah, that's right. I haven't been to the grotto yet. Man, I completely forgot about my home base. Big fin. After losing to King Crush in the 2011 Monster Mania semifinals, Big Finn stepped away from the limelight for a simpler, more natural way of life. You know, you don't really hear about monster trucks anymore, do you? They used to be like such a big thing, but then they kind of died out and no one cares about them anymore. Like, absolutely. Well, some people do. Some people do. I actually did go to a monster truck rally a good few years ago. It's pretty fun. I enjoyed it, I had a good time. It's really interesting because they had this one uh, this one thing with a storyline. And I don't know why they had it, to be honest. You could have easily done it without it having a storyline. But it was like yeah, it was some kind of like ATV race or something. But they were like done in teams. Um and you had this this one team representing, you know, the city that it was in, the home city, aka mine, and the rival city. And it was weird because he had the one from the rival city that was like trash talking, but they were kind of doing it in like a wrestling promo kind of way. But like they had the mic and they were like talking smack to the city. It was like that was interesting. It was a bit weird, but it was fun, you know. And during the race, like they they kind of did safe dirty tactics it was weird it was so weird it was fun like i said but it was weird um okay no i need i need something bigger i need something bigger so i can eat it oh wait actually i wonder maybe i don't need to because maybe i can use my tail projectile Maybe, maybe not. Can I do that out of water? I can. Okay, let's see. And I'd have to, yeah, I might need to aim it. And that might be a bit too difficult. So I don't know if I'm gonna do that. Instead, I can do this, I guess. Yeah, I just, I just want one of you. I literally just want one of you. I thank you. Damn it, he died too quickly. Okay, a small fishing boat. I need to push you a little bit closer. There we go. Let's see, kiddies, it's time for me to go make dinner. See you later, guys. You take care, kitty. Thank you very much for watching the stream. Hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I'll catch you later. Have yourself a good dinner. Tell Jared I said hi, of course. There you go. Perfect. Hopefully you at least got to see that. Because I don't know, it's pretty cool. It was one of my cool moves, you know. Okay, so that takes me back to Dubai, you. Which I don't really care about anymore. See, I've kind of... I've kind of completely decimated the bayou. I don't really need to go back. Uh oh. This protein supplement has zero atoms, so the shark doesn't have to worry about hitting artificial colors huh. or flavors. Oh, come on. Yeah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's another license plate. Oh, dude, hell yeah. 
I should visit the grotto. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I know what I'm doing. I'm getting all the collectibles. But I really should just visit the grotto. I think I'm almost done with the collectibles. I think I have... What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy shit, that swordfish, like... Did you see that? Holy shit, that swordfish went, like, zoom straight upwards. That was impressive. Damn, they're quick. Hey, Joe Joe, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing good. Just so you know, you didn't miss anything. We've just been checking out the caviar key. Uh, just getting collectibles, really. Nothing too exciting quite yet. Some sharks are scavengers, indiscriminately consuming anything that's vaguely edible. Hmm. <laughs> Nothing else around here? No, seems not. Uh, let's see. I'm doing all right. Hope everyone is doing well. I'm doing pretty all right. Thank you. Having a, a good time being a shark. River also doing all right, which is excellent to hear. The more all right my friends are, the better after all right. Goaded by lusty appetites, the shark's sole move is to eat and evolve. And look how efficient we are with these. Hey, Seal. How shark stuff going? Shark stuff is going pretty well, thank you. Uh, almost have this place done with collectibles already, which is really interesting. Which means then there'll be nothing but missions, which I'm okay with. Yeah, I think we might be able to finish this game today, you know. That's the only been streaming for about half an hour so far. Almost done with collectibles here. Oh my god. These scavengers of the sea are vital in cleaning the ocean floors of edible and semi-edible detritus. Oh yeah, we did find Pennywise uh, in a sewer. Just so you know, which was uh, spooky, kind of spooky. Don't worry, he just stared at me through the grate. Recently, Port Clovis has gained a reputation for its derivative, politically confused street art. That shark looks like it's getting Thanosed. Yeah, the final collectibles are just... Excuse me, I'm just right here. Glad I missed that movie gave you nightmares. See, I still haven't seen It Chapter 2. Haven't seen It Chapter 2 yet. Uh, but I did like, I did, well, I did like It Chapter 1, and I, I don't remember the original 80s movie, actually, but I'm pretty sure I saw that at some point. If you're like me, you're probably wondering it. what their secret is for such durable papier-mâché. Papier-mâché. Uh, this one right here, which looks to be a license plate. It's gonna be in my mouth very soon. I fucked that up. I didn't. I didn't get my speed. I like how eventually you can just straight up just eat like your enemies too, like your like whatever attacks you. Uh, okay, no, I need. Okay, I need. I need the height. I need the height. I need the height. There we go. Where's the other one? Oh wait, oh I thought, oh I miscounted. Oh I miscounted. Okay, well I can finish off. Oh well, shit then, where's the other ones? Oh damn, hold on. I will find them, they will be found. With its wary eyes and robust physique, the grouper is the very picture of brute strength. Okay, let's check out our grotto, because we haven't even checked that out yet. The grotto provides a brief respite from the Sturm und Drang of the Gulf. Hey, alligator. What 
What's it doing entering my grotto? Alright, cool. Alright, so let's upgrade my tail, because I'm pretty sure I can do that. Uh, yeah, I can. Very easily. Man, I'm getting so many proteins. Upgrading is just never a problem, like, at all. Uh, you know, I'll even upgrade my bone tail. I want to see what my bone tail looks like fully upgraded. Very bony. Getting very bony. Getting a lot of them bones. Yeah, that becomes a very bony tail. Once again, not going to use it because I kind of like my shadow tail. And I have pretty much everything here upgraded to legendary. So why would I want to switch out? I just leave an upgrade this uh, legendary. Yeah, all right. I think we're good, man. We just need the head too. What do I get the heads from? I get the heads from Apex Predators. Do I? What do I get the heads from? Like, what do I get the shadow parts from? I mean, what? What do I get those from? Oh, that's oh, that's bugging me now. What has been giving me the shadow parts? I think it's Apex Predators. Okay, well, not like it really matters. We'll be getting it anyway. But for the moment, let's go kill some turtles. Oh my god. Alligators? Why? Didn't watch the second one, but apparently it's not as bad as the first. Times of spooky. Remakes, that is. Okay. And I see, I see. River says I can't watch horror films because I get too scared too easily and my anxiety doesn't help. Yeah, I know some people that can't watch, like, spooky films. Uh, which is fine, right? Like, I really like horror movies. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoy them. But I do know, uh, a good few people that just can't deal with anything scary. Which is more than fine. Um. I enjoy spooky. But I'm also, you know, you know, like that kind of stuff, you know, is easy for me because it, it doesn't give me anxiety, right? Yeah, I know some people that just plain don't like so horror films or, um, their anxiety, you know, stresses them out with it. Or, say is fair. I uh, one like I think I've said this on stream before, right? I am kind of weird because I probably look very brave when I'm on stream and I'm doing something spooky. Lost in Vivo. Okay, maybe I was maybe I don't look too brave playing Lost in Vivo. But some people are legit like, "Oh man, you're, I don't know how you can do it. I wouldn't be able to play something that spooky." And it's like, you know, I honestly don't know how I'm able to do it either. I am an enormous portion of the shark's brain you know, real estate is dedicated to smell. Like I do get pretty spooked. The turtle numbers have exploded here. Bad news for seagrass, great news for orcas who enjoy torturing and eating them. Do orcas like eating turtles? I guess they must. I need to kill an orca. Oh, that's a nice looking orca too. Casanita recently escaped from fish fingers and is to be considered ag aggrieved and extremely dangerous. Alright, let's go fuck up an orca. Merlin, okay, here. I'm gonna eat the shit out of you. Wait, wait, wait. And I've been in a very spooky mood lately, and I really don't know why that is. I, I really and I, I've really been wanting to watch like spooky movies and play spooky games, and I really don't know why. I don't know why I've suddenly gotten in this mood to like want to be scared. I'm not complaining. Yeah, you know, it, it is enjoyable to me, but it's just been one of those moods, I guess. Don't get me wrong, it's nice being a shark. Not spooky, but it is nice being a shark. Well, okay, it's, it's, it's had its spooky moments. Like when an orca comes out of nowhere and tries to eat you. You know, that's, that's a little spooky.
Okay, I'm literally your size now. Black, white, and dead all over. Oh no. I mean, it is gonna be dead soon. The game isn't lying about that. It is gonna die very soon. And it's kind of black all over now at this point. Years of eating the same meal of frozen herring at Fish Fingers, Casanita just wants her favorite comfort food, raw shark liver. I mean, I kind of killed Casanita though. Coastal risk analysis reveals that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. Okay, so we got another hundred eight there. Finger food. Consume ten humans. Okay, well that's definitely next step on the agenda. What the shell? Uh, hey Mario, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Hope you're doing great. So what am I murdering here? Am I murdering a... What am I, uh, an orca? No, a great white. Waiting for great whites can be a violent affair. So you can only imagine how violent a great white attack is. I, I, I wanna, I wanna grab onto you so I can address you. There we go. I can thrash it around. Jaws for alarm. Oh boy. Alright, what's that shark dead? Well, if it is Apex Predators, then I should get it after I'm done all these. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Very excited. Do not keep beating kind of class. I think I've heard of that game. I, I don't know if it's you that mentioned it or someone else, but I think I've heard of that one. Don't really know or remember what it's about to be honest but I I know I've heard of it for sure troll in a day's work Roboat, huh? not a robot anymore now it's just wood driftwood Do that much damage to the trailer. I'm sad. There is an old saying: the two happiest days in a sailor's life are the day he buys his boat and the day he sells it, unless it's splintered to kindling by a savage sea. There we go. Got him now. I was gonna say I was really trying to eat that hunter. I mean, I could just destroy the boat. I mean, it's basically dead. Yeah, I'll just the boat. There we go. Wildlife management has never been a priority in Fort Clovis. And so, amateur uh, delicious. Delicious humans. Ah, uh, there's one trying to get. Oh, no, it's just a hunter. Okay, I don't want to. Don't want to fight the hunters quite yet. Kind of want to. Get all these shadow parts first, if I can. Which means... Be a land-based shark for a little bit. Okay, so what's this? Is it? Ah, oh, it's a Marlin. Oh, easy. Level 15, Marlin. You get right in my stomach right now, young man. Ah, dude, so good. So good, so good. What's this? A hammerhead. All right, cool. I must prove myself as the apex predator in these waters. I 
can kill turtles while I'm here too. Kill the baby hammerhead first. Wait, did I not kill a turtle? Another bounty hunt comes to a close. That turtle dead. Turtle dead. Turtle dead. Mako. Okay, fine. You can die too, I guess. Turtle dead. Wait, is it actually? Oh yeah, it is. Oh wow. Oh wait, this is the hammerhead I need to kill. I didn't even notice. Hammer, please hurt him. I feel like, once again, that's a reference I don't get. Is the Apex Predator out yet? No, it's not. Not yet. Boo. Boo. I say boo. Okay, well, some more turtles to hunt. And I still need to find those landmarks and shit. The mm. shark is a creature of great inscrutability. Sometimes it will flee from an unarmed swimmer. Other times it will launch itself full bore at a boat. There we go. Shortcut. Is that going on land? Easy. Man, yeah, look at all these shortcuts we can do, dude. Hell yeah. Legend. Once again, a little bit of leg in this area. The shark's nostrils allow her to identify elusive odors. Ah, is that a rowboat without a... Oh, not as a person. What are you doing here, human? You're kind of in a bad spot. Why would you have a rowboat on a small pond like this, anyway? Is that, this is just a small pond. When food is scarce, bull sharks slow their digestion to avoid starvation. To catch a shark, one must be as quick as a shark. I, I kind of want to eat you, turtle. You're not getting away. You're not getting away that easily. Or at all, might I add. We. Okay, now we have the apex. All right, where are you? Where are you, apex? Right, I can do this, and it'll take me straight to the apex. Oh no, it didn't. That's just the map. Ah, uh, there he is. Oh, it's an orca. A oh, killer queen. Okay. After working for eight years in the marine mammal stunt show. Mahana has a lot of pent-up aggression. Of course, the apex would be an orca, right? Ah, uh, dude, I'm excited. So I should... Oh, no, no, this is for bone. Okay, that's for bone. What has been giving me the shadow stuff? I mean, I'm okay with getting the bone head. In the past, maybe I've even been called one. But what does give me... What? Well, now I'm really curious. What has been giving me the shadow stuff? I'm just gonna go through here until I see shadow, shadow head. Oh, it's all the landmarks. Oh, okay. Well, I need to get all the landmarks then. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go landmark hunting real quick. Give me, give me like one, one momento. Now, where might there be landmarks? I'm almost wondering if there might be some on land. Mm. Cause I mean, I would, I would really like the shadow head. I would love to complete the shadow set. Look at me 
such a cool look to have my entire shark be shadow. I'm almost positive some of them have to be on land or something. Because there's no way my sonar couldn't hit it if it were like in the water somewhere. Okay, I'll go pinging along this way. Because I'm missing two landmarks? Or is it only one? I'm missing one. Okay, that's not too bad. So there might be something along here. Sharks. So you think this would be a landmark? But it doesn't appear to be. Oh, wait, what's this? Okay, what's this? This might be something. This might be it. No, it's okay, it's a cache. Which is still fine. Hunger is a driving hmm. force for the bull shark. Oh, where where is it? Where could it be? It could be anywhere now. Huh. Yeah, see, I, I don't know where this could be. I mean, maybe over here, because I don't think I wouldn't... It might actually... Yeah, it's probably over here. Okay, we'll kill the Apex, because I'm the true Apex here. Some might even call me a legend. White and black attack. The orca. When an orca's fin goes like that, doesn't that mean they're heavily depressed? Like, isn't it really bad when their fin does that? Like, this little curve thing? I'm not an expert on whales, but I feel like this whale might actually be... This might be a sadder tale than initially implied. There's like no way. Unless it suddenly starts like hitting me a bunch. I should be good. Orcas, once the featured attraction at Marine Mammal Parks, now have a new favorite trick killing things. Tricks didn't help you. No. It's so sad. Well, I'm just sad. But maybe we, uh,. Maybe, maybe we ended the life of a really sad whale, which I guess I can feel a bit better about. Okay, we can go check out our bonehead. I do want to go over here first, just to see if maybe, maybe I did miss a landmark, because that has to be the only spot. That has to be the only spot. I'm pretty sure I would have checked out every other spot. I'm so sure. I'm so, so sure. I think the bonehead's gonna look pretty cool, though. I do think the bonehead will look neat. It'll just be nice to have a fully decked out shark, you know? With head, tail, fins, body, everything. I think it'll look real nice. And then I'll go even faster. Like, holy shit, imagine that. Being even more of a speedy shark. And I thought, you know, this is going pretty fast already. I wonder how much faster I'll go. 
Okay, so it should be around. Yeah, there it is. There it is. I knew it had to be over here somewhere. It's the only place it could possibly be. If a T-Rex is your favorite dinosaur, then you're boring and unoriginal, and you need to pick a different favorite dinosaur. You know what? What's your favorite dinosaur? Now I'm kind of wondering. Mine is actually not the T-Rex. Mine is... I'm pretty sure mine would be the Allosaurus. I really, really like the Allosaurus. And you can, you can kind of blame walking with dinosaurs for that one. Mostly the Ballad of Big Al. I thought I thought that was a really really cool and interesting uh, interesting story. Speedy Shark go new. Don't be sorry at all, River. Don't be sorry. You know you know you never have to be sorry. You know, River. Thinking about it, I don't think I've heard a pun from you in a long time. Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. Like, I know that's not a pun that you just did, but it got me thinking. I'm like, man, I haven't heard a river pun in, like, forever. You have no idea what your favorite dinosaur is, to be honest? That's fair. You gotta see the bonehead. Oh, d holy shit, dude. Okay, that looks pretty badass. But also really scary. What with the bony eye? Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that. I was not expecting the eye to suddenly become bony as well. I assume that's bony and not like the actual eye. I'm gonna level this up. You think they're all cool? See, that's fair. That's fair. God, look at all them bones. Look at all them bones, man. That's cool. That's sick. Okay, what's Shadowhead look like? Aw, oh, dude, we get, like, cool little, like, shark goggles. Okay, that's badass. I like that. Like, well, I gotta upgrade you. Oh, my God. Holy shit, this looks badass, dude. That looks so cool. I need to get it up to max. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude. My shark's a legend. Look at that! You you can't get much cooler than that. That looks so sick. I didn't think it was gonna look that cool. I thought it was gonna look all right, but I didn't think it was gonna like look this cool. Like this is cool. No wonder, like, Scaly Pete had to mark me. I was gonna look like a completely different shark by the end of this game. Oh my god. Okay, I wanna see, because I think I have all the bony parts, too. So I wanna see what, like, the bony parts look like when all put together. I'm, I'm curious. See, that even looks pretty cool. Now, not all these are full. Now, this one isn't fully upgraded, though, to be fair, but even that one looks pretty cool. It, I don't think it looks as sick, right? But it, it does look pretty cool. Ooh, I'm not, like, gonna have... Well, I mean, I am not. I don't really need much more of the blue muta, like, the blue, nu blue the, bleh, the blue nutrients, anyway. Like, I don't know, man. Yeah, we're gonna need to just have a look at all of these. Uh, when we are finished the game. Because holy shit. I don't know, man. Shadow Shark, I think, is my favorite. But I also like it, like the fact that it looks really sleek, right? So I might be a little bit biased. A truly terrifying sight without a shadow of a doubt. There we go. That's the river. That's the river that I know. Puns for days. Parrotfish can change their coloration God, and patterns to keep up with the latest trends from Paris and Milan. I look so badass, dude. Well, I don't- I shouldn't say me. I don't personally look badass. The shark, though, looks badass. Man, so happy. So happy. Alright, alright. Uh, okay, well, I should probably look at the map and continue with the game. Because if I don't, I am going to get sidetracked by looking at my shark.
and being like, damn, shark, you sexy. Once again, I don't, I never thought I'd say that about a shark, but if I were to say any shark was sexy, look at this. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it glows purple when you do your little lunge. Okay, I need to consume humans. But, but first I need to get to the actual spot it wants me to consume at first, that's right. I'm sorry, I heard a human scream and I'm like, MUST CONSUME! Parrotfish congregate in pairs, wherein a single dominant male lives with several females and perpetuates the hegemony. I think this might be a shortcut if I do this. Well, maybe if I don't fuck it up, then maybe. No, that uh, I'm 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 like I'm I'm blowing it, but I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure this is a shortcut. Watch, I'm not gonna be able to get up on that. Oh. No, this is going quite well. Get around this. The bee struggles mightily. There we go. For oxygen. You know, I want a shark like this to exist in real life. You know, everything I've been saying up until now has been, man, I wouldn't want something like that to exist in real life because it'd be scary. But, like, I really want this to exist in real life. Like, this shark looks, like, so cool that I just really want it to exist in real life. I, look, it looks so cool. Hey, Bass Ackwards, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? Yes, we're at a water park. That's pretty great. And you are kind of right, actually. My shark does look like a Pokemon. Back when Pokemon had, you know, uniquer designs, I guess. Yes, that was some slight shade at Pokemon. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Yes, bring all of your boats into the water park. Okay, wait, this is actually kind of shit because I'm, I'm losing health. I lost so much health from being out of the water. You could say I got a real keen eye for talent. Although, the wheelers really got to work on those side areas. Okay, let's consume some more humans. Let's try and get infamy level 8. I need, I need to consume you guys so I can, you know, get my health back. So much damage to boats. Another death without me. A nihilistic statement. Man, Jerry getting deep. Come on, 
Let me have that human. I just want to eat all the humans. Don't make it harder for me. By working together as a team. By the way, this is very like, now that I think about it, this is very like, what was it, Son of Jaws? What was that one, um, what was that one Jaws film that took place in, uh, in like a water park? I don't remember which one that was. And yes, Jaws did have sequels. For, for those that don't know, Jaws, they weren't good, but Jaws did have sequels. At least the ones I remember weren't good. Need to flee. I might actually need to flee. Maybe. It's good to keep in mind that in certain respects, the shark is merely a highly skilled killing driven by appetite and little else. Wait, that's a human. There we go. Human consumed. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good at getting my health back. I'm kind of impressed with myself. Like, I'm getting close to death, but I'm somehow managing to avoid it. Probably because now I'm actually kind of trying to dodge. A little bit. Just a little bit. Not as much as I probably should be. Be easier to like beat up the boat. Eh, eh, not really. Probably about equally as easy. Probably depends on the boat. See, if I can destroy, like, the top part of that boat, then that becomes so much easier. Okay, so far so good. Sorry for not really looking at the chat, by the way. I will in a moment, I promise. Right now, I just, I just don't want to die and make any mistakes. So I'm trying to focus somewhat. Consume, consume. I'm not even thrashing around like I should be. I should probably be thrashing around a little bit too. Okay, got some of your spite. a shame that human and shark must so often meet as enemies. Okay, wait, hold on. I can pause. I can pause one sec. That'll allow me to read. Wishy-washy pod. Not great. No, you can vent as much as you want, my dude. I do not mind. Hey, Cooney, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, friendo? For me, it looks more like some alien. Kind of like an alien shark, yeah. 
There's Sharpedo, you could argue Basculin. Say I like Sharpedo, I do think Sharpedo looks alright. Well, kind of, it's like half half of a shark, essentially. It's like alright. But eh, you know. I don't remember what Basculin looks like. I get people who like Sword and Shield, but it could be so much better. Ah, uh, yeah, it could be easily. I don't blame Game Freak, I blame the Pokemon Company for demanding annual games and refusing to hire more. Yeah, they need to stop with annual games. Annual games is uh, the issue for sure. I get why they do it. Don't get me wrong, I understand. But, it's still bad. See, Marius and Sword and Shield had half their development cut. Remember that other Game Freak worked on and released in time of Sword and Shield? No, nobody does, and it was bad. See, I heard, I, I heard about it. But the funny thing was, I remember, I even remember going on Reddit once, and this one guy was like, yeah, what about that other game? It was like not too, long, not too long after Sword and Shield came out. And they were like, man, whatever happened to that other game that they were working on? And someone was like, oh yeah, it was released like a while back. He was like, was it? It's like nobody knew. They, it wasn't even like marketed, like at all. I don't know. It'd be nice if Game Freak did get out of just Pokemon, but they need to, like, actually advertise their other games if they're gonna do that. Either that or Jaws 4 Revenge. Could be Jaws 4. Ah, yeah, Little Town here. That's what it was called. That's right. So bad that Game Explain gave it its own rating. Shame to Toby Fox scored it. Let's right, see, Mario says, Frank, you look like a shark from the Sci Fi channel. Yeah, you're right. You're right, I do, actually. Maybe that's why I like it. I don't now. I don't really watch like sci-fi channel movies, but maybe I like it because it kind of has once again that like kind of weird look that those kind of movies usually give their creatures and sharks. I suppose. You know, very small, even very small scale games. You plop down identical emphases in the same area. You know, it would be cool if they eventually tried to run. If they eventually tried to run, right? Ren what? I'll never know. Man, you have some dinner, my dude. You go have your din-dins. See, Kuni says, Just procrastinating, got an exam tomorrow. Still 50 pages left to go through. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, I say good luck with you on that, my friend. Hopefully you don't procrastinate too much. I'm bad with procrastinating myself. Don't, don't get me wrong. But yeah, you should work on it when you can, for sure. That way you don't. That way you get it done and no stress. It was marketed in a Nintendo Direct. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, see, they need to market more like outside of their directs, though. That's that's the thing, cause like someone like me, I like Nintendo, but I forget their directs happen. Sometimes I don't check it out. You know. The only time I really do is when someone's like, oh man, Nintendo Direct, and then I watch it with like friends or something, right? Or one of them's like, oh, let's watch it later. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, sure. I don't know. It's just a shame. I like the hunters eventually try to run away because of how powerful you are. That'd be interesting. I, I, I do feel like sometimes they don't show up, which I take to assume that they see me as just being too powerful. And then leaving. But that's probably... That might just be because of something that happens with the game. Maybe it forgets to spawn the hunters. I'm not too sure. Either way, I don't mind when it does that. It makes me feel like I'm powerful. And that they are indeed trying to flee from me. Hold on, I want to eat some humans. I need to eat some humans for gold. Okay, let's go slow mo. And let's see if I can get my health back due consumption. There we go. Yeah, slow mo, you know what? Slow mo helps.
Okay, where where where's the humans? Man, my shark looks so cool, dude. I don't know. Like, I didn't think the head would make that much of a difference, to be honest, but it really did. It really made my shark like look super cool. Super sleek. Ready, so I got my slow mo back. Almost have next to me. Is that hunter dead on the boat? Oh boy. Maybe my poison's like stronger than I thought it was. Yeah, I'm letting them go a little bit too much now. Maybe I'm mashing the button to eat a little bit too quickly. I think a couple more boats and then we'll be good. Then I'll have maxed out in Fammy. Let's chill on this boat for a little bit. Yeah, one more boat. All right. Not bad. Okay, where is the body? Here it is. to destroy this one I think and then I think we'll be good hey small fishing boat I don't think uh, okay never mind I have hunters on them I was gonna say I don't think you want to be here there's kind of a hunt going on but I don't think it's kind of a hunt you want to take part in for this exact reason Shark. I need to eat you. You need to know. Okay, that guy did dive off his boat. Maybe he did sense the fear. Maybe he did get a little bit spooked. By putting sharks in their place, there you go, that's me. Sure they'll stay in their lane. So we don't have a planet of the apes. I'm a Maybell on our hands. The multi-million dollar mix, Mama Maybell. Wow, she did a sick action roll. Yeah, I don't know which boat Mama Maybell's on. I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. But I think she's like semi-protected. be for much longer though good see okay I want to eat this one if I get mama maybell then I can leave happily do some sick dodges come on mama maybell come out come out of your yacht come out of your level 45 yacht The other hunter might be dead. Yeah, it might just be Mama Maybell. Yeah, no, you're you, you, you're you're done, Mama Maybell. 
You're done. The bull shark. Alright, well, I need to eat the corpse. Alright, excellent. Now we flee! Actually, I can probably just stay at the bottom of the pool. They probably won't find me. Unless they have divers come out, but it doesn't look like they have divers. That right, nice. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's see, Kuni says, I think I'm pretty fucked on that one, especially since I have another exam the day after. Didn't even look at the stuff for the exam. Oh, God. It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. For now. Cooney, why do you do this to yourself? To be fair, I was I wasn't that much better. <laughs> so I can I can understand where you're coming from, but still dude, man. Well, hopefully everything goes well and hopefully you just pass. I know some people are just good at that. They don't even need to study and they're just like boom, day of pass easy. And hey Lori, welcome back to the stream. How you doing today, my friend? Oh. Is this uh one of those uh electric electronic TV games? You can do that, girl. Alright, you know what? I need to see video proof of this. I'm pretty sure you could, but I I want to see video proof. We're finishing the slaughter, his slaughter of humans. You know, you know how I roll. Oh, wait, was that it for the whole story here? Wait a minute. How come it's... Oh, because oh, I need to do these, presumably. I need to do pond scum. And then I need to visit the grotto that I have already visited. Alright, let's slaughter more humans. Real quick. Yeah, slaughter more humans. Wait a minute, is there a human slaughter point closer by? I believe so. Yes, there is. Right there. Skate and die? Okay. Beach erosion can be harmful for ecosystems by changing habitat conditions. For such local fauna as seals, sea turtles, so casual. birds, and fish. So, so casual. I just want to casually, like, ram into boats and destroy them now. It's my first try on that exam and I have three tries, so it's okay. Especially since it doesn't count as a fail if I fail the semester due to Corona. Okay, that's fair. Okay, that's fair. I guess that's the water reasonable. The along Caviar Key is frequently described as gin clear. Which reminds me, I could go for another Singapore sling. We, Hey, humans. We at the skate park. That's pretty radical, humans. And the frames don't. The man, the game doesn't like this area. Wow, I can't even like lock onto a human. There you go. This, this is pretty radical. Oh my god, I'm dying. Oh shit, I thought I was in. Oh wait, no, I was in the water. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm like partially in the water and partially not. Okay, we're good. Is this a flooded skate park? Yes, very radical, humans. This is pretty sick, nasty. So what's a... Let's see, what's a classic skater term? Gnarly, there you go, gnarly's a good one. It's pretty gnarly, humans. Okay, I'm like not getting any humans. There you this go. is about saving lives, but it's also about safeguarding tourism revenue. Yeah, I don't know why the game doesn't like that area, but it really doesn't like that area. Consume, consume. That's like half a body, but I want to consume it. Okay, never mind. I'm not gonna consume that one because consuming that one's kind of a pain in the ass. humans I don't wish to fight you guys yet I'm not gonna lie an elite hunter diver huh I beg to differ uh, 
skate, 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 or die, die, die. <laughs> oh, damn, Lord. A day at the beach is a summer ritual that wouldn't be complete without plenty of sunshine, sandcastles, and mercurial dermatitis. Caviar Key provides a scenic setting for Yo, let me let me finish the consumation of these humans. And then I shall read what Cooney posted. Consume human 500 million years of Consume terrestrial evolution reaches its apex with prosperity and spacious flow through floor plan. Yeah, well, I'll leave that one human alive then. They don't give you no scholarships when winning no big air rave chain. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, uh, Seedor. I didn't actually mean to murder you. Coastal tourism in the U.S. continues to grow, leaving millions of naive Americans vulnerable to the graft of beach umbrella renters. See, Cooney says, I think that's why I'm procrastinating so much. It needs that pressure of a deadline to be productive. You know what? Yeah, I can see that. By the way, I got fitting emotes for this game. Those are really fitting emotes. I like those. Headshots. I need the fight or flight stress response to get anything done. I'm finally getting around to finishing up The Last of Us and its DLC as I just pre-ordered The Last of Us Part 2. I need to play Last of Us. Maybe that should be, like, the next game on the list. Get that done. So I can play Last of Us 2. And be in the loop for why it might be terrible. Because I don't want to spoil myself, so I haven't looked into any of that yet. But yeah, here that's uh, what a lot of people have kind of kind of said. Maybe not even, maybe not like to me directly, but I know that's what some people have implied. But, like especially when um, like schooling was done through like online classes and stuff, right? I know there are a lot of people that were going like, "Yeah, I'm having a really hard time with it," and then you have people saying like, "Well, yeah, but you think it'd be really easy though doing it online," and then the people be like. Well, no, I, I, it should be, but, like, I have all these distractions at home. I have the computer and video games and just stuff at home that I can do. And then I don't have, like, the pressure of getting up and leaving to go do a thing at a, spe at a specific spot, right? At a, at, a, at a specific place, a.k.a. school. And it's like, yeah, it makes sense, right? It makes sense why some people uh, struggle with homeschooling. Well, not homeschooling, but, you know, online classes, right? That just kind of reminded me of, of that. You saying, like, how you need the pressure kind of reminded me of that. Why would you, like, hang out in a swampy area like this? To swim. Oh, dude. Now nah, I'm like a whale. I'm playing with my food. It's always best to accept shark attacks as a normal part of the marine environment. You know, this game is like kind of weirdly fitting because uh, I heard today that I think it was yesterday or maybe even today. Like a 60 year old, now it's in Australia of course, but like there's a 60 year old man that was um, surfing in Australia. And a great white like apparently killed him? So it's like, damn, I'm basically being that great white. Except not killing a cool 60 year old surfer, I'm just killing humans and various other fish. Like where did the swordfish come from? I don't know. He seems like he came from that way, but he, he must have done a pretty sick dive to get to me. I don't know how to properly stock and manage a fish pond, but it's a learning process. Ah, oh, so this is fish pond. That's kind of nice, I guess. Oh, it can be anywhere. Oh, can I eat these? No, I can just play with them a little bit, I guess. It's gonna be good. Have you seen that trailer? Six years it has been since first release. Shrek does hang out in swamps, you're right. Reaches their balloons. But the war goes on. Yeah, mayhaps I can! Mayhaps. 
Are those dead bodies from the Mafia? Yes, I do believe they are. Yeah, this game's pretty weird like that. It's very quirky. But like the good kind of quirky and not the cringe, like, oh my god, why'd you say that kind of quirky? Excuse me, sorry about that. I had like a really weird burp coming up. That was weird. And once again, always only when I stream. Don't know why. Don't get it. Don't do not understand. Oh, all the humans are up there. Oh, that's gonna be not hard, but it's gonna be unless I land like perfectly up on there. So I need to get over the railing. Eh, I guess it's not too bad. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't aimed properly for that. Oh, I didn't do the proper lunge. Walk this way. Is that a Young Frankenstein reference? Probably! This game seems to have a lot of those kind of references. Ah, here we go. A successful shark hunt is traditionally celebrated with off-brand cinnamon whiskey and large quantities of pseudo effects. Yeah, if you think about it, this game is basically, well, as Bass Ackward said, like a B... A B horror movie, but like specifically one of those sci-fi movies. You yeah. Build that mm. boardwalk higher, cause you just asking for a shark attack. How you got it now? But do they listen to me? Oh, not at all. Oh. Yo, hide in the grotto while they search for me. To her safe haven. Yeah, wait for them to leave me alone. Alligator, you don't want none. Alligator? Does this alligator want some? No, that's right, you turn around. That's right, you just leave. You don't want none of this. I mean, have you seen have you seen me? Have you seen this shark? I don't think you want none of this alligator. Play piano in the sun is very fable. The car looks like an old Lada fashion car. Interesting. Let's go to Flamingo Joe's. First my ties on The hunt is over. And there will be an inevitable rush on dollar drafts at Flamingo Joe's. You know what? Hey, I'm gonna eat that turtle first off, but I, I do want to kill the alligator. Just because it did front it on me a little bit. I need to show it that, you know, you don't go doing that. To my shark. You don't go fronting on my shark like that. Yeah, let's go and consume 10 humans. And then will that be all of this area? Yeah, it will be. Alright, cool. Or presumably it will be. I see. Man, where'd that quote come from? Come yeah, that right there is a quote that I don't remember what game that would be. I fucked it really hard. Where... What game would I have been playing for me to say that one? Oh my god. Maybe that was Fragan Gaming after midnight, like talk right there. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have said that because I was literally fucking something. 
I don't think I've ever done that on stream, and I don't think I can even play a game where that happens, so that's what's getting mad at me. Not like I play those kind of games anyway, might I point out. But I'm thinking what I did, it, whatever game it would have been, I would have just probably, like, fucked something up. Hey, you men. Really been spouting up this place for years. Put some of my own money in this. Gonna be a laser tag fun park. Laser tag fun park, huh? So now I need to visit the golf grotto. Look how cool I look. Let's have a look at some of these bounty hunters. Okay, I only have two bounty hunters left. Oh wow. Bioelectric head and brutal muscles. You play those kind of games? Of course you do. You lewd, lewd man. Okay, wait, where's the grotto that I'm looking for? That is cool, how dare you say that. Yeah, so I'll visit this grotto, see what missions they have. And then I guess I guess I'll finish the infamy it's stuff right. today. We extract an absolute maximum of resources before we cross Earth's apocalyptic threshold. You know, I haven't seen a single giant squid yet. I'm starting to think they're not in this game, which is kind of sad. I guess it's okay, but it's like also oh, I was expecting like a giant squid. So semi spoilers, I guess. Um, not for this game, but for a game that, once again, you've literally, like, never it's heard of. Grotto, Most likely. Discover the absolute serenity deep within her soul. Is, um, in Jaws Unleashed. Now, this is, like, the only level I can really remember. But, like, in Jaws Unleashed, you go into this, like, really... You go into this, like, underwater cave or something. I don't remember what the mission is, but it's legit just a mission. In Jazz Unleash. And at the end of it, it's like, you know, surprise boss, like, here's a giant squid. I don't know why, but it always kind of made me, I don't know, it was always, it was kind of cool. I don't know why. And so I was really expecting it in this game, but it doesn't seem like it's going to happen. It's making me sad. It's like, I just want a giant squid boss. That's all I want. So what was it that I got from that one, um... Thing was it a bioelectric something? Bioelectric tail. That was it. Once I get the pirates for like all the bioelectric stuff, I'll put all the bioelectric stuff on too, and we'll see how that looks. Cause I think it's shadow, bone, and bioelectric. I don't think there's any other part. See, the hardest difficulty for The Last of Us is grounded. Added in an update, you get no HUD, no enemy scan ability. Enemies do triple damage, improved, and max enemy AI. Supplies are the rarest to come by in it, and it's pretty brutal. That sounds really good, actually. That sounds really fun. That sounds like the kind of hard mode that I would enjoy. Because uh, from what I understand with how The Last of Us plays... Yeah, that sounds something pretty fun. That sounds like something pretty fun. Okay, so what missions do we have out here now? I need to consume five humans. Oil's well, that ends well. Since 1970, oil tankers have spilled over 4.7 million tons of petroleum into the sea. This is sometimes upsetting to marine life. Yacht blooded. This yacht annually costs 2.5 million for dockage, insurance, and crew. So by destroying it, you'd really be saving them a bundle. And then we have the Hammerheads are holding their conference here at the Arch. Still, it's less insufferable in the Pharma Conference downtown. All right, we'll go ahead and consume five humans. Many mid checkpoints are removed as well. Only sometimes. Oh, yeah, only sometimes. 
I mean, I can't like every single hard mode forever, right? I love playing games in hard mode, hard mode, except if it's just 50 times HP, and this makes you waste my time. It's actually, yeah, see, that's kind of the, um, that's kind of where I could also kind of draw the line with hard mode. Because, uh, like, uh, you can use, I don't, like, not the new Doom, I don't, I don't think the new Doom is like this. But, like, one, one game I always like to have an example of a hard mode that's just not necessary. Is like I think super hard mode on the original Doom, like the old school OG Doom. I think all that really does is um. because of these oil tankers spinning. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. I think it like just turns like enemy respawning on, and that's kind of lame. That's kind of lame for a game like Doom. So you know. Don't really care for that too much. So, like, if a hard mode just does that, where it's like, oh, yeah, here, you have enemies that respawn. It's like, nah, no thanks. Yeah, I'd rather not. Like, I like a good hard mode where it's challenging, and I guess it depends on the game as well, right? For me, anyway, it depends on the game as well. Like, uh, back when I did play... Yeah, back, back when I did play Call of Duty a little bit more, uh, like, I did play Modern Warfare and World at War and... Call of Duty 2 all on like veteran mode and it's like yeah those those are experiences I wouldn't say fun like all the time but they were definitely experiences like veteran Call of Duty 2 is actually super hard too. that was a really hard one and then you had, like, Modern Warfare was also a piece of shit in, in that regard, too. World at War, I don't actually remember. I'm pretty sure I did complete that one. I'm, like, near positive I did complete that one. That one's, like, grenades for days. That one's just, like... Awful with grenades. I was trying to think like if I should fail or not but I think I should be fine but yeah otherwise I gotta admit I don't really do like hard mode that often hard mode's like something where if I really really like a game a lot or it offers some kind of unique challenge or I get something for it then I'm all then I'm all about it like Final Fantasy 7 I still haven't done the hard mode on that one yet but like that's a hard mode I would do because it offers a little something more right there's a bit more to it and I get some stuff for doing it uh, and then you have um Trying to think of other examples, like the hard mode on uh, Lost in Vivo, right? That one was also good uh, because you know I got like new skins for my weapons. I got a bit of a different experience.
like hard mode, um, like, uh, not Life is Strange, hard mode, uh, Last of Us sounds fun, because to me it sounds like it offers a new, really different experience, which I like. I like the sound of that. And an interesting challenge as well, right? Like, it turns off everything that you probably relied on to beat the game. Once again, never played it, so I, I don't really know. But it sounds like it removes a lot of good stuff. And makes it, like, really realistic and challenging. It's like, yeah, that sounds right up my alley. I like how we're just casually talking about, like, video game difficulties while I'm murdering, like, dozens of humans. That's right, the air noms. I think I've got more than just your arm, my dude. Pretty sure I've got your whole body. Yeah, I think this is the last boat that they sent after me. Holy shit. Uh hold on, let me pause. There's a favorite for me to read. Like scary, but any Bethesda game. At least Fallout 4 had increased legendary enemies, which led to acquiring the unique weapon variants faster. That's cool. Yeah, increasing AI is great, but it is hard to do. That is true. I'm not sure which game, but I played one where extreme mode was literally everything and everyone has one HP. The enemies end you as well. That sounds like a fun one, to be honest. That one sounds really nice. Watch Dogs had a mode like that. Oh, that's cool. Called Realistic. Alright, that makes sense. Stalker and Metro has modes like that. Uh, I need to play Stalker. I only play Stalker on stream at some point. World at War had a good long campaign. It did. It had a real long campaign. See, I liked World at War. I don't think a lot of people did. Or at least some. Or at least they didn't at the time. But I liked World at War. I thought it was a fun game. I did enjoy Call of Duty a lot back then, though. I thought, you know... And I love World War II. I love the World War II... Uh, Aesthetic with games like that. Yeah, before everything went Modern Warfare-y. I did like Modern Warfare as well, don't get me wrong. But yeah, World War II aesthetic will always have a special place within my heart. Usually do the hardest mode as of late as I want to get better as a gamer. Well, I guess it would be gamer. Zelda has interesting hard mode, second quest and hero mode. Sometimes removing recovery hearts, making you use potions as well, increased damage. Original Zelda Second Quest was like the ultimate new game plus at the time. You're ranging dungeons, upgrades, and heart containers being moved around a few new mechanics. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like, that was pretty ahead of its time. Yeah. Well, that game's without any HUD either way, like Dead Space. Yeah, I see, I do think uh, games that do that are really nice, if they do it correctly. There are games that don't do it correctly, but games, I can't think of any to be fair, but I think Dead Space does no HUD correctly. And it makes sense, too. It adds to the spooky factor when you feel like you're a bit more right there because you don't have, like, a health screen on the side, right? Well, a health counter on the side. Yeah, Dead Space. Dead Space did a good job with that. The spectacle of a rampaging shark never fails to attract interest. Alright, back to the human slaughter! I'm trying to think of like a hard mode that just doesn't really like appeal to me. Let's see, what hard mode types don't really appeal to me? The epic of all gamers. Or the epic of epic gamers. Mm. 
you know. An intriguing perspective on how wolves hunt their prey. You know, like I will say, I don't do hard modes often, partly because sometimes I just like to chill with my games, right? Like with streams, um, in particular, I don't like doing hard mode because I want to make sure I can finish the game, right? And not eventually get stuck. Uh, but even if, like, I'm just playing the game by myself, I don't really... I don't really do hard modes too often. Just because I, I like to have a game, you know, I, I like to be kind of casual sometimes. And I feel like, I like it when games are a bit fair too, right? Like, I guess a, a type of difficulty mode that I don't really care for is, um... Do any of you guys play, like, any of the Paradox Interactive games, like Crusader Kings or, um, or, like, Hearts of Iron or things like that? Because, like, if you play those kind of games, then you'll, you'll kind of get what I mean. Because, like, there are some game, uh, like, with those games in particular, the harder modes literally just means the AI cheats more, right? And that I don't really care too much for. I don't really care when the care for when the games like have to cheat like that. Like get you know it's five times bonus resources just because, right? It makes the game better. I think that's kind of eh. Don't really care for that kind of thing too much. Okay, that was kind of cool. Like to me that's a bit much. And I don't like that, which is why I don't play those games in hard mode. Or like Civ. I think Civ is the same way uh, with that, where the difficulty just makes it so the AI cheats more. I mean, maybe that's just me, but I don't know. It's just something I've never liked in those, in those games in particular. Okay, almost done with this infamy rating. Doing really good. Okay, eat some humans for life. bit of trouble with that boat. Oh, this elite hunter-diver is like a quick one. I mean, not as quick as me, but still a quick one. Oh, look at all the blood on this boat. Oh my god. Have it. I think another couple boats and then it will be good. Yeah, a couple more boats. Then we'll have our next victim. I mean bounty hunter. Oh wait, there's a hunter. Yeah, let's go! Oh, I don't have slow-mo yet. Hmm. Oh no, I did slow-mo. Oh, never mind. I didn't see anything activate, so I was like, oh, maybe I don't have slow-mo yet. One more boat. 
One more boat. Getting eaten on camera always makes me think. I'm glad we have it. Okay, I think they are starting to like damage me a bit more, a bit quicker than when I'm able to damage them. Or I I said that completely wrong. So now now I'm getting kind of worried. Uh, they're damaging a lot quicker. They're damaging me quicker than I can heal. There you go. That's that's the word I'm looking for. Let's just casually eat a great plate. There you go. I got my health back. I'm, I'm ready, humans. I'm ready to continue the battle. These boats are easier to take out, to be honest. Get one human body in the water. Alright, okay, let's... Okay, well, he abandoned ship. Okay, they both abandoned ship. Maybe they do get scared and just decide to leave. I don't, I'm pretty sure I didn't completely damage that boat. Another danger on the water. There we are. Determined processor. Oh, what do you have? The able-bodied seaman, Commander Percy Metcalf. Oh, he's in shadow. I don't think he's supposed to be. Okay, a shark shield. So this is new. Looks like the bounty hunters have been watching too many Nikola, Nikola Tesla documentaries. If you swim near that shark shield. You're probably going to get a nice jolt of electricity, as long as you stay in it. Maybe it can be destroyed, perhaps. Uh, let me see. I like that one guy who simply said shark when you jumped out of the water. Not sure what that genre is. Strategy games, yeah. Uh, Laura is correct. Um, so, so Paradox Interactive games like Crusader Kings, uh, Stellaris is also another one, if you've heard of that. Uh, Hearts of Iron. Yeah, they're all kind of like grand strategy games, right? Where, like, you kind of have a military aspect and kind of like a government aspect. It, it's, it's fun. I really like those. Um, but they do just have hard modes or, like, the AI cheats, right? Well, the AI cheats to give it an advantage anyway. It just cheats more, like, the higher the difficulty is. Which is what I don't like. I don't like it when the AI has to cheat. It looks at five diff difficulty where the AI cheats and gets lucky and such. Like my party has better rolls on hard mode and seems to give better star placement as well for the enemy. I think many games now normal mode was easy mode for older games. Yeah, makes it more badass and mysterious. True, you're right. There's no Warcraft, Age of Mythology, and Command and Conquer. Those are pretty good RTS games. They're good. They're good games. You have good taste in video. Okay, so maybe the shark shield can be destroyed. Yeah, look at that. I like how you can, like... Oh, uh -huh. I wonder. Hmm. Okay, I wonder if I can, like... Hold on, let me eat a mahi mahi real quick. Hmm, okay, that's gonna be interesting. I wonder if I need to eat a person into that. Yep, that's all you gotta do. Okay, that's, that's not too bad. Okay, now we are gonna take a small break from eating humans to eat, ugh, fish. Once again, the fragile truce between man and shark is broken asunder. 
Only so I can get health. I'm technically hiding, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what boat he's on anymore. I think he's on that one. Yeah, I think I see it. Okay, where is he? There he is. There he is. Okay, he is on this boat for sure. All right, come on, open up. Open up, Percy. Oh look, there's an orca coming to help you now. Man, you guys even have the sea creatures on your side. Orca! Orca, you fuck up. Oh, I got him. Oh, he's dead. Wait, where's his body? Orca! Orca! Orca, don't make me do it. I just want to eat his body. I just want to eat his body. I just want to find his body. I think that was it. I'm actually pretty sure it was definitely one of those. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna say I ate his body. I'm gonna say we're good. I succeeded in my task. Now I'm gonna bail. And then I'm gonna fuck up this orca, because this orca is being an asshole. Where are you, orca? That's a sperm whale. Where's the orca? Where did the orca go? No, you know what? Well, I guess the orca just cheesed it. The orca knew. The orca knew that I was the alpha predator. But this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature. But I'm gonna need to get my revenge on the orca. So when I see one. I must slaughter it. Determined orca. A very determined orca. That orca was trying to get vengeance for its brothers and sisters that I slaughtered. For the apex that I slaughtered in the amusement park. I do want to find one. I want to find one again. Let's see, where? Okay, where am I even going? Am I even going where I wanted to? Yes. But where are the humans for me to slaughter? This is where I need to go to slaughter humans, right? Yes. Oh! They're under there. I see. The humans are getting crafty. But how do I get under there? Probably through that. Man, where'd that work could go? It's it's like kind of bothering me now. So I know there's orcas around and I need to kill one to get vengeance. Captain Blatty sunk his treasure somewhere around here. Been funding a diving expedition every year for ten years, and I ain't found it yet. Man, where can you find Captain Blatty's treasure? Okay, so now we'll go and get this one. Then we'll get this one, then this one, then we'll do the story. If need be, I'll kill a sperm whale to show dominance to the orca. It'd be like, maybe I can't find you, but I killed something much bigger than you, orca. So 
Such murky water, too. Like, this really is spooky, spooky boy times. So, like, I can hear them. I mean, they could be out that way. This has grown bored of the hunt, leaving our shark to fight another day. Afraid of the museum? I've seen that movie. Well, Night of the Museum, I've seen that movie. Shark bounties became common this year after the previous mayor's practice of hiring Fijian shark charmers proved largely ineffective. So when he started saying Fijian. I was hearing Vegeta. I, I was gonna hear like Vegeta. I was like prepared for that and I don't know why. Cause I don't know why a Super Saiyan would want to fight a shark. <laughs> 